Now it's time for our alumni in your community segment where this month we spotlight a local couple who both chose a non-traditional route to BCC. Hi, I'm Joe Marshall, a uh, graduate of BCC 1978. Hi, I'm Joanne Marshall, and I'm a graduate of BCC 1971. The uh, opportunity was afforded to me after high school where I, I received a uh, scholarship to uh, Bryant College, full scholarship. I had to maintain a, a, a 3.0 average, but after one semester, I didn't do that. So I still wanted to continue in school, but I had lost my scholarship. So I came home and I had to address my parents as to uh, you know what had happened I said I still want to go to school and of course I was talking to my mother first and uh, she said no you gotta tell your father this so he was he was shaving and I, I was standing behind him I, this is very vivid he uh, he said well, I already heard and I said well you know what can I do and he says you have two choices and I said uh, well that's great because I didn't think I had any choices and he said yes you can either get a job or go in the service and I said, well, I don't, you know, I don't know how to do anything. So then he said, well, you've got one choice. So I ended up going in the Air Force during that time. I spent a year and a half in Italy. And then when I came stateside, I got orders to go to Vietnam. I spent 10 months in Vietnam. I was uh, classified as a Morse uh, code intercept operator. So I didn't really get to do really what I wanted to do, and that was to, to get a trade that I can convert into civilian life. So I did come back home got a job and uh, ran into a friend of mine who had just uh, gotten out of the Navy and he had joined BCC or had, had enrolled in BCC. And uh, he said, Joe, it's really great because the GI Bill will pay for you to go there. And again, figuring that out, I said, well, you know, I, uh, I could either get a part-time job at a uh, convenience store or a liquor store or I can go to school. So I chose to go to school and the uh, best thing I ever did because it all seemed to click. After I went to BCC, it was like, uh, wow, this, you know, this is all coming together now. So I started there. I completed my education there. I took accounting. And from there, I went to UMass Dartmouth. So I continued at UMass Dartmouth, went to work for an insurance company here, and um, graduated from UMass, continued with the insurance company, stayed with them for 18 years. And an opportunity came up where uh, a person said, well, several of us said, you know, we're going to go and try to do things on our own. So I opened my own practice. Uh, several other people who worked for that agency did it at exactly the same time. And um, a lot of the success is because of Joanne. She gave me the opportunity. I didn't have the pressures because she continued to work and had benefits of really um, uh, being the, the provider for the, for the family because both of us worked at the same time. So because of that, I was able to open my own practice and have been in business since 1989 on my own. But I've been in the financial planning business uh, for 34 years. When I went to BCC, it wasn't a matter of wanting to go to BCC. I'm, I came from an old Irish family where there were five girls and two boys. And the girls do not get an education, the boys do, because the girls will find someone to support them. My father and mother were dead against any of the girls going to college. So I was the oldest and the first. So I wanted to go to BCC and I was working at the telephone company part time. So my mother and father said, there's no reason for you to have an education, but if you want to go, you're going to have to pay for it. So that was the only reason I couldn't afford SMU or any of the other ones because I was working night shifts at the telephone company and I could only work till 11. I had to have my parents sign a note so I could work at the telephone company. My major was liberal arts because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I think I learned more at BCC than I actually did in high school because they took an interest and they showed you how to do everything. And you were actually a person because after leaving BCC, I went to SMU and you were a social security number. Nobody ever knew what your name was. They just knew what your social security number was. I really missed BCC. Um, I thought it was a wonderful foundation. I didn't finish SMU. What happened is I went, I was still working at the telephone company and I worked at the telephone company until I retired in 98. I started in operator services, just like a lot of people in those days. Um, you know, operator, can I help you? 
Then from there I went to DA services, which was actually um, information um, for telephone numbers. From there I transferred to Brockton and I worked in what they called the Dial Bureau. When you need a telephone number, I had to find a telephone number for you. From there, as I was getting more and more educated, I kept taking exams because the phone company is well known for taking exams for advancement. Well, because of my background at um, BCC and all the subjects in math and science that I took, I was able to pass a lot of the, the, the uh, testing for the telephone company to advance till I finally ended up in Taunton many, many years later as a um, tech. Prior to retiring, I hadn't finished school. I was only a few credits short, and the telephone company had a program for adults at several colleges. So the telephone company actually sent me back to school, and I went to Eastern Nazarene in Quincy, graduated magnum cum laude with a uh, BSBA in managerial um, economics and um, oh God, social studies. It was wonderful. Now I am presently doing real estate. I've been a real estate broker since 19, maybe 1988 and that was part-time work in order to make money because when we started this business, as Joe mentioned prior, earlier, we needed the money. So I was working two and three jobs so that he could get his business off the ground. So I was supporting the family while he was getting J. Marshall Associates started. And I play a lot of golf and I'm still very involved in BCC. Up until the last maybe two or three years, I was involved in the alumni board. We ran the, um, a lot of the programs for the alumni board and a lot of the um, fundraisers. For 18 years I served on the BCC Foundation and that gave me an opportunity to see what the needs were of the college uh, because the foundation uh, gives grants, uh, uh, student loans, I mean it, it's, uh, it's a very important part of the success of the, of the uh, school and I had that opportunity for 18 years and then another opportunity came up where I became a trustee and this was last year, I became a trustee of the school and it went beyond the campus at that point and went statewide. So then I, I, I got to see how we at BCC um, compared to other schools. Well, Joe and I were married in 1988. Um, we have three children. He always tests to see if I know what the date was. Sometimes she says 89. <laughs> we have three children, um, Kimberly, Carey, and Christine. They are all college graduates. None of them went to BCC, even though we really wanted them to. Yeah. And we have one grandson. Mm. The girls are very successful. Kimberly works here with Joe. She, she's uh, actually Joe's right arm. My daughter Carrie works for a company called Molecula. She has a very big title. I can never remember what it is. Um, and my daughter Christine is actually a high school teacher in East Bridgewater. So they've all, they're all college educated and probably because we kept encouraging them to at least get their education. And our grandson now is three, and he's saving for his college education. Yeah, he'll tell you, too. He empties <laughs> Papa's pockets out. Yeah, he'll tell you. <laughs> and I continue to, to speak over at BCC and sometimes at the high school because sometimes the students and the, the, uh, the people there don't realize that we were students once, too, and we had the same anxieties, the same problems that they have sitting in, in the classroom. So I like... I like that. I enjoy giving back and having the, the, the students realize that, you know, even though I didn't have a job, I didn't know what I was going to do out of high school, it eventually happens. But you've got to do something. 